How's it going everyone? This is Eddie with Joe's Gaming and Electronics. Today we're going to be doing a AUX jack slash the card reader, the game reader port replacement. And I'll be using some pretty nice tools. We just got this kit recently. It has tweezers, you got your screwdriver, you have all the bits you'll ever need. I'll be using, the biggest thing is, it has these Y bits right here. And that's a big deal for repairing these because you have one, two, three, four. And it's just, it is just an awesome thing to have. I personally use one every day. This is just, if you want, we do sell screwdrivers individually, but if you can and plan on doing more projects, just get one that'll do everything for you. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and use that Y bit to take these four screws out. I like to neatly place um, all the screws I take out in order, like the same way I took them out, just to keep things organized and so your reassembly process goes real smooth. Very nice. Now we could pick up this leg and I'm gonna switch to a Phillips. I'll be using a Phillips double zero as the size and I'll just be using that for every Phillips screw here. So we take that one out, we can close that back up. Now we're gonna have two on the bottom where the charger port is and one up top and these aren't magnetic. So it could at times be a bit challenging on reassembly because they don't wanna stick to your screwdriver. But we work with it, it'll be fine. And now once you got those out, we will have to take the middle screws out on the, our Joy-Con slides right here. So we're gonna just take the middle one out. There's five screws. So the third one counting from either side. On both sides. So we can put that to the side. Now we can go ahead and I like to open the card slot and just carefully pry up. Be careful of these tabs. These tabs are very fragile and can break quite easily. So pull up and then you have that one that's up there and then you have the two side ones. So there we go, took it out. This thing, this unit's pretty dusty so we can blow it out with the compressor. And now you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws to take out. And since we will be taking out the um, the port, we can undo these two Phillips as well. All these Phillips are the same size, so you don't have to be too worried about mixing them up. However, it's just good practice to have them all organized and laid out just to make your reassembly process go as smooth as possible. However, you can also refer to this video and I'll do my best to walk you through taking it apart and putting it all back together. All right, now we could just carefully pull up on this support it, pull the SD card reader out. And now you're gonna have a little bit of thermal paste holding it down there. But if you just give it a little pry, oh, one more screw. Give it a little bit of a pry and it will come right off. Put that to the side. And I always like to disconnect the battery anytime I start working on it. And for this, I'm gonna just put a little flathead on and I'll just get right under the plastic. As you'll see here, here's the clip for the battery and you can see where that white plastic meets the black plastic. So I just like to get right under the white plastic and give it a little pry up and just kind of move it to the side. So then I know the whole unit's powered down. So we're gonna wanna remove this little plastic piece that covers it. We unscrewed that with the two bolts. Now we're gonna to wanna to disconnect the 
ribbon right here. So that's pretty easily, you'll see here, it's just a little tab and you could just flip that up with a flathead or your fingernail, whatever works best for you. I'll just use my fingernail. You see that's opened and you could just pull that ribbon out and we'll have one Phillips screw holding this down that we could take out right there. Nice. Now we're going to want to uns unscrew the uh, heat, sh heat sink. So there'll be three screws right here all Phillips and they're all the same size as every silver screw that's on these which is quite nice because it makes the repairs on them a lot more simple whereas some companies like to overcomplicate things now we can carefully pull this up carefully prying get under that copper piece there, it'll come off quite easily. And now, that'll give us enough leverage to grab a pry tool, undo this clip here, and we can pull this out. It's not necessary to undo this, however, it just, it gives you a bit more wiggle room so we could grab our replacement, slide it in the same way we took that out, and it will slot right in. And we're going to have to kind of align this. So you'll kind of see if you look at it through an angle, you'll see that this is going to have to line up with the port. and so you're probably going to have to move it over inside a little bit. And once you see that, you can just press down. You'll hear it click into place. There we go. Nice. Now, we could screw the heat sink back into place. Align the screws. Again, not a necessary step. I just like to use it to give me a bit more room. So since this unit is dusty, I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out with my air compressor and I'll be right back. Now that we got that all blown out, we could go ahead and connect this ribbon back in. And it's just opening that little tab up again and then you just align that ribbon into place. Once it's aligned, it'll just slide right in naturally and then give it a little push in, making sure it's all the way in and then close that clip back up on itself. Now we could go ahead and put that one silver screw back into place that held this down. And we could grab our little plastic piece right here, line that up, and screw that in as well. She'll do that to you sometimes. Just flip it over, pop it out, and we're back in business. I like to not screw that in all the way just quite yet so I can go ahead and get one more screw started so then I can have even pressure screwing this down. There we go. And then I just screw this down all the way. You don't need a lot of uh, pressure here. You don't want to over torque these and then strip out the plastic. Now that that's done, we can go ahead, plug our battery back in. This just is pretty simple. It lines up. And you just press down, you'll hear a little crunch, and you know you're good. <clears throat> so, now we can go ahead, grab our metal shield, and install that. 
back into place. I like to go ahead and put our card uh, sim SD card reader. Apologize for that. Before we start, and you just line that up. It'll press right into place, so that we can screw this in right away, since it holds the shield as well as the card the <coughs> excuse me the SD card reader. And we just go along and put all these little screws back in place. Quite simple, easy repair. Most of the repairs on the Nintendo Switch are fairly user friendly. I'd recommend getting just, if you have the proper tools, you could do anything really. So I recommend getting that toolkit that we have because it, for me personally, has saved me a lot of time in my repairs. Whereas trying to make not the right tools work, we've all been there. We know how that goes. Not fun. Whereas this can be kind of enjoying because you could go from having your unit broken and then repaired and then you have that pride of, I did this, I fixed it myself. I don't know. Repair gang, you know what I'm saying? We have those stickers with our orders. Pretty neat. Cause it's, I mean, I don't know. It's just like, it's cool. It's like, I did this. Anyways, moving on, we got all that in. We could go ahead and put this cover back in, aligning all those little tabs into place. You don't want to force anything because that's when you start breaking plastic. So we'll start with that screw right there. It'll be a small screw with a big head. Nice and flat, almost like washer-like. That will go right down there. Not a lot of torque, close that up. And then to get them out of the way, we'll go with the non-magnetic screws. I like to hold it with my finger, line it into place. Let's see, They'll do that to you, but we just line it into place. Ah, see, even the professionals struggle sometimes. But I'm sure there was a reason Nintendo wanted us to struggle with these non-magnetic boys. But as you see, it's doable. Sometimes we just use gravity to help us. Pop them in a place and then crank it down. Get it straight, screw it in, bam. Very little torque for those because you can very easily break those tabs. That's a common mistake we see a lot of people do is they'll over torque that or they just they'll be careless taking it on taking it off or putting it back on and there's just where issues arise so we can go ahead let's remove our Phillips bit screw these side ones in they'll be the, the biggest screws of the bunch no doubt Phillips heads and we'll switch back to our Y bit and I like to just place all these screws in and once I place them all in I could just screw them in Again, you line it up straight and just go down. And you once you feel it stop, there's no need to go anymore. Because this is all you're screwing into plastic. Some pieces are metal, but not a lot of torque. Because that could be, you don't want to damage anything, right? Then you're just buying more parts. You're not just, nice and easy does it. And look at that. Through all that, you have to listen to my voice and guide you. But I have brought you to the end. And the end is where games begin and repairs stop. So, 
that's not good for videos. Just wipe it down real quick. But you did it. You just replaced your AUX jack slash, slash game card reader. That simple. If you like the video, give it a like. If you have any questions or just want to leave a comment down below, feel free to do that. We reply to all your guys' comments. If you need any parts or tools that I used in this video, that's also linked down below. If you don't feel comfortable doing the repairs yourself, send it in and I'll fix it for you. And we could go back, have a little conversation back and forth, have a good time. That's what it's all about. Putting a smile on your face and playing a couple games with the family or yourself. I don't judge. But thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call or just leave a comment and we reply to those all the time. Thanks again, this has been Eddie with Joe's Gaming and Electronics, and have a phenomenal day.